Hey guys, I've come back with something spooky. Is it me? No, it's not you. Oh, what else could it be? Something spooky. Ugh, no, not you. If you guys get tired of me showing that that figure, just let me know. Then I'll stop. Is there anything else spooky over here? Um, yeah, Dead Star, not you. You're spooky. Um, glass Skull, spooky. Not that spooky. I got it right over here. I got these Keshin Surprise figures, or Keshi Surprise, made by, by Super 7. And they this is new, though. This is fairly new. By, by Super 7. I don't know if you know them. They make amazing stuff. So they made these, like, Monster in My Pocket style Universal Monsters. We got Wolfman, Invisible Man, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and the mummy and these little squishy figures with sort of this glow-in-the-dark style kids scared to look under his bed thing with the ghouly eyes i love this this is like classic halloween love 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 that classic halloween style monsters so many mini monstrosities so many places for them to hide keshi surprise aren't almost two inches tall isn't that amazing do you dare look under there it's fantastic. Oh, I just noticed this like little Lugosi uh, entertainment thing down there. But love it. So today, I really didn't have any ideas. I normally don't. But today I was going to see if I could... I thought maybe uh, Professor Peel could come back. Um, since I haven't done anything with her in a while. And I decided that what if Professor Peel decided to make a monster and tried but involving all six of the Universal Monsters. If I could just put them all together into one monster, what would that monster be? So, I have not really... I just thought of it now, when I came down here, and I was looking for a toy of the day, and I saw those monsters, and I was like, all right, well, cool, something monster. How about we just... I don't want to just do Frankenstein. So, let's, use, let's start with Bride of Frankenstein's hair, because that's her best known feature there and then maybe a frank oh but then the hair will come into a dracula like v with a big frankenstein forehead and then the pointed ears of the wolf man maybe like some free free wolf man jowls too and Oh boy, let's see. I'll give him these the cool glasses. Ah, no, I don't want him to wear glasses. I want to be able to show off some weird eyes. I'll give him very surprised eyes. I'm going to make him looking over here at Professor... You know what? They didn't do the creature from the Black Lagoon over there. Just realize the creature's missing. And then who's got a... Oh, and then some... Some mummy wraps. We're going to get some, like a couple bands of mummy wraps. A couple bands of that passing through. Maybe this one will go up over the ear. And yeah, that band will kind of pass under. And then he'll have Dracula fangs coming underneath. And I'll give him like a the big Dracula collar. And I'll make some of that mummy bandages down. And then you'll have the the ascot. The Invisible Man where there's like bathrobe with the ascot. Invisible Man, I think... I don't know. I think that's the uh, Universal Monster movie I can watch the most. Which I don't think it's the most po Not nearly the most, the most popular. The new reboot was actually fantastic too. Oh, he needs neck bolts though too. Huh. Let's sneak the neck bolts in there. I wish I made him a little smaller so I could fit more of his body, but I don't know, his head's the most interesting part. Did we get everything? All right, I'm doing the cross check here. So we got Frankenstein, forehead and neck bolts, bride hair, mummy bandages, Dracula, fangs and the big poofy collar and the point, invisible man. He's got, uh, gosh, the invisible man. Just the ascot, is that it? Oh. Um, uh, I'm going to make Professor Peel back here. I'll make it look like he's waving at Professor Peel, but his hand is missing. 
So he's waving. You know it. We know it. If we could see the motion of this in animation, we'd see that he's waving. But his hands, somehow just his hands are invisible. So make of that what you will. And then Professor Peel will be... There she is. Let's put her over here. Um, this may not be Ampersand Island canon here, because this is just a little weird. I'll make her just laughing maniacally. Just, gah! Ah. Oh yeah, that's disturbing. Oh my. I don't even know why I'm bothering penciling this in. I should just be inking it. But, well, let's see. She's got the lab coat on. She's got her goggles on. And she's just got her arms. Oh, she's got the big rubber gloves. And she's going to have these just crazy, crazy hand posture. Gah! Ha, 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 ha. It's alive! Gah! Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Professor Peel! How could you? Mm. All right, let's ink this a little bit. See, these are some of these more random ones are kind of fun. So I had some other ideas, and they were still good ideas. I'll still get around to them. But this stuff, the, this weird stuff, is my jam. Is my jelly my jam. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Today, I'm feeling, feeling a little froggy here, feeling... We'll put that bandage like that, and then he's gonna have the just the Dracula fangs. Well, I'll put other little teeth hiding underneath there. And I don't think this guy looks scary at all. I think he actually looks kind. So maybe we will say this is canon, and we'll keep keep this character around. Do -do -do. Unless I get a cease and desist letter. No, I won't. Nobody's seeing this video. We all know. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just the cape. I'll just close the, just clasp the cape normally. I was thinking of trying to come up with some sort of fancy dancy clasp. I should have. Oh, well, I'll just put a button on it for now. And then, yeah, and then he's waving. Like, look at me, mommy, you created me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Should he have a Dracula voice? I don't know. It doesn't look like he just grunts and groans. And just regular. I'll just do regular eyes. I can't think of none of these characters. I almost put the. Uh, I really like those really funky, like, welder's glasses that the Invisible Man wears. They're pretty cool. But, uh,. Then you lose all the expression without the eyes. So I almost went for it. Yeah, I'm just going to do this, the big Frankenstein forehead. I don't want it to be overly Frankenstein. It's very easy for it to be dominated with a Frankenstein-esque... Uh... Oh, I thought of what I was going to do today. What I thought of earlier. Maybe tomorrow. It's my secret. It's my secret. Do, do, do. And he's got the the bride of Don King hair. Little Don, is Don King still alive? I don't think he is, is he? Rest in peace, Don King. Nah, blah blah blah. Yeah, I guess this guy's just gonna have to have a Dracula voice. Blah, fire bad. Blah blah blah. And all of Bride of Frankenstein types. Frankenstein did was scream. She didn't have any lines. And then Professor Peel is just going, going bananas over here. She's mad with power. And she's got her pocket of stuff. She'll have like a little forceps in her pocket for picking up a brain. Oh, I don't know. Does this mean that Professor Peel has been grave robbing? No, that's pretty, that's pretty dark. Let's not go that road. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Well, you know what? Maybe I'll finish drawing in Prof. The Prof P. Professor Peel. I call her Prof P because we're tight. I don't know. That doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Maybe I'll go just uh, slam into turbo paint mode. And then we can see what we are responsible for in the end. And by we being responsible, I guess I mean me. It's all on me. Yeah. Oh, Professor Peel. All right. I'll finish this and we'll go into turbo mode. Turbo away. <laughs> there it is so i was doing this i love the invisible hand like i should think of something invisible man for this creature so i'm thinking as i was making it of trying to like squish together some giant acronym with all six of these provided universal monsters and as i was kind of blowing it through it while i was doing this painting I just thought it was too hard. So I thought I'd take the Universal and Monsters, and I think I would just name it Umo, like just U-M-O, Umo. So this is like Umo the monster. It seems like a nice, because that sounds like a, like a old monster, like Gorgo and that kind of name from an old horror film. And then, uh, but I'm also trying to justify what's going on here. Did Professor Peel, did she really, did she really, this sweet professor, did she really go insane? Or this looks this looks so much like a good cheesy horror film that now I'm thinking it seems like something more like uh, that a movie that Mike the Moth would want to see, and then I decided maybe that's what maybe that's what this is maybe Mike the Moth is either this is either him making his own horror film with like local island people playing the parts, or he's like making a uh, uh, yeah either like a his own like a little independent movie. Or he's uh, maybe uh, even making like a like a stage play or something with these creatures. So that's what I've decided is maybe this is some local resident who we have not met yet in all this. Or maybe we have and he's just wearing really good makeup. Or maybe it's somebody we haven't met yet and he's just playing the part of Yumo. I just realized I didn't paint in his these like staples holding his head together. That's one thing is I paint so quick and I'm trying to get it done that then when I get done, then after I'm done making this video, sometimes I see some little thing that I missed. But anyway, there is Yumo, the monster, the combination of all these universal monsters that I won't go over again verbatim. And uh, I'm guessing that uh, this is some sort of either play or film that's being, being done by our uh, movie studio owner uh, or movie theater owner, Mike the Moth. There we go. So that's the logistics. Later.